Good morning, everybody. I'm reading Genesis 4, verse 16. Then Cain went out from the presence of the Lord and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. So this word Nod means wandering. I've sometimes wondered why the Lord kept Cain alive after he murdered his brother Abel. After all, in the rest of scripture, it is clear that God required that the life of a murderer be forfeited. For example, Genesis 9, 5, surely for your lifeblood, I will demand a reckoning. From the hand of every man's brother, I will require the life of man. But I think it must be because right at the beginning of history and of scripture, the Lord is giving us a serious, if not shocking, lesson. He is showing us what happens to sinners who refuse to repent of their sin. As we read through Genesis 4, we see Cain was a flawed and sinful man. There's nothing unusual about that. We are all sinners. But Cain was a man who took evil behavior to an extreme. He murdered his own brother. Even this didn't have to result in ultimate tragedy for Cain because the Lord is willing to be merciful and gracious to even the vilest of sinners. And we probably all ought to count ourselves in that category. But as we read the account, we see that though the Lord spoke with such kindness to Cain, giving him every chance to own up to his wrongdoing and to repent, Cain resisted and refused God and his word at every step. He didn't soften his stance one iota. In fact, it seems he grew harder and harder. The result was that Cain brought judgment on himself. The Lord told Cain he would be a fugitive and a vagabond, wandering aimlessly, homeless, alone, isolated, friendless, without purpose. And he would go out from the presence of the Lord, separated from love. He would be like this for the rest of his days on earth. What? a stark and awful picture of eternity without God, eternal lostness, eternal hell. Right at the beginning, the Lord is giving us a warning. But even before this, he had already given hope. He'd given the solution in chapter 3. The seed of the woman will crush the serpent's head. And the rest of the Bible develops these two themes firstly the consequences of sin especially unrepentant sin and secondly the solution repent and believe the gospel christ has died for our sins so that whoever believes on him will not perish but have everlasting life amen have a great day